thank you so very much for joining me tonight. Before we get into our session, I just want to take a quick moment and thank our sponsor for this video, which is truly very important, and that is Surfshark. If you've never heard of Surfshark before, they are a VPN service. If you don't know what a VPN is, it is a virtual private network which keeps you safe when you're out and about or at home for that matter. You can apply it to all of your devices, your phones, tablets, computers, and they work by covering up like a mask everything that you do online. It encrypts all of your information so that when you're online, you can't be, you're not as visible. It is blurred out, it is hidden. You can set your VPN to register as if you're in another location, which is great for if you want to access um, video streaming services from as if you were somewhere else. So I live in the States, I can set mine to Canada and watch the Netflix Canada and they usually have more and different things that I'm unable to access here. If you're looking for flights or anything like that, you can change your VPN uh, to hopefully get better deals on tickets. For example, I'm traveling this weekend and when I bought the tickets, I set the location as the state that I'm traveling to and I was able to get a bit of a discount or at least a better deal rather on the tickets that I purchased. You can also get past geo blocks and government restrictions with a VPN so you won't deal with blocked websites and apps. A VPN is very important if you use public Wi-Fi ever. It keeps you safe in a soupy sorry, soupy wi-fi space i never use public wi-fi without a vpn truly it's really important to me particularly if i'm going to be accessing my personal banking information i mean i'm cautious about everything but particularly when it comes to that i want to make sure that i'm safe hence surfshark is a great tool for me and i know that it would be for you as well surfshark has over 3200 servers in over a hundred different locations so no matter where you go you'll have a server that suits your needs i haven't had to use it too often but i'm glad that it's there surfshark also has a kill switch which will disconnect me from the internet anytime that my vpn drops surfshark lets you share one subscription with unlimited people so your family your friends can all be sharing surfshark for less than the price of a piece of gum i have my son set up on surfshark he's 11 years old and we you know he's allowed on the internet but i love that surfshark has this clean web feature which automatically blocks more than a million already known uh, websites phishing uh, strategies and other threats there is a cookie pop-up blocker Ah, and 24 7 support there's also a 30-day money-back guarantee so you really can't go wrong with this it's really affordable really necessary in my personal opinion and there's no risk here you can get surfshark vpn with three free months of coverage using my code innate <laughs> um, i will put that below as well in the video description with a link so we can get there really easy and uh yeah be covered be covered when you're out and about be covered when you're home it is such a good tool i think everyone I feel like everyone should be using a vpn in this day and age it's really important to keep yourself safe online. So thank you so much to Surfshark VPN. I appreciate being able to work with you and for the sponsorship so very much. And thank you viewers, viewers and subscribers. I could not do this without you. I'm so grateful to you. And now let's get into our session. Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. My name is Jillian, but on this channel and in my work, I go by Luna Nate. And what I'm creating for us today is a protection, energy cleansing, and protection themed session. We've done these before. You know, I have evil eye videos and stuff. So if you really want to dive into this, there is other content that I have. But I really feel called to create another, a newer, a fresher one that's gonna pop up in your timeline if you need it sort of reminder um, session for us here all right just a quick little intro to myself and some um, uh, slightly uncomfortable for me self-promotion thank you for being here truly if you enjoy my content liking subscribing and commenting 
engaging with the channel is so supportive and helpful i love to read your comments it means so much to me so i just want to thank you because there's some very familiar names you know some people who really do it all the time and i'm just so grateful so thank you so much i really appreciate that if you enjoy my channel a lot and you'd like to and you're able to um like support the channel Patreon is a great way. You can access some catalogs there of content that I have that's not on YouTube. Also, um, I do have like a tip jar kind of thing on my website. Thank you so much if anyone, if they've donated before, it's really so helpful. So thank you truly so much. I also have my classes, which are my Reiki classes, available and teachable. Um, there's a discount code below. Thank you so much to those of you who I've had the pleasure of working with, whether it was back like in person or on Zoom or one-to-one um, -one or in a group or now on Teachable or some other you know, like class like that. <laughs> I just want to thank you so much. It means such uh, it's, it's such an honor for me to be able to pass on these these methods and these practices that have truly changed my life and supported me in a myriad of ways. I want to especially thank my patrons here. I'm so sorry that this last month I've been a little more slow. Um, I've had some issues, some technical issues with some videos and life changes and stuff. So I'm just sorry for any delay. I just want you to know how much I appreciate you and how grateful I am to have that support. It, it's truly life-changing for me, so thank you so much for your grace. I can't thank you enough for that. So this session is going to have some rattles, some scissors, some feathers, some spray. Those are some of the tools I'll be using. But I want to take a moment and just set an intention with you because the words of this, you know, describing this really helps to kind of create the space for this work. That's the case pretty much for every session, but particularly when we're talking about things that have to do with confidence, will, personal power, especially if you feel like you're in a deficit of those at all, or you feel a little less than empowered or a little less than confident. What other people think of you doesn't matter at all if you have that confidence, if you have that knowledge of self, if you have that, um, you know, will to say, like, what you think of me doesn't freaking matter. But when we're going through periods of transition, of change, of loss, of grief, of, like, high emotional things or changes in our day-to-day -day life or um, really any struggle i guess you could say good and bad you know because even the good stuff causes different other challenges in our lives that's when this evil eye that's when that negativity that's when the space that people hold you in has the potential to be destructive in your life and this is of course just my opinion energetically speaking if you're in physical danger please get help for physical danger but what i'm speaking of is more spiritual energetic and when i'm talking about the evil eye it's you know nine times out of ten or more not exactly evil evil as in it's manipulative but it's not intentionally evil a lot it comes from jealousy it comes from assumption it comes from projection, right? It comes from um, different things that are, you know, whoever's feeling that way is issue, <laughs> not your issue. However, when it is projected to us or when we are held in these spaces, for example, held in a state of pity or held in a state of unworthiness or held in a state of being unsuccessful or unable to accomplish something, what's happening is, again, in a, what I would call a soft shell crab phase, when you're going through a molt, when you're going through growth, there's a softening, there's a susceptible sort of time. So it's important to clear that energy or it's very helpful to clear that energy and then make sure that your personal field is highly empowered to burn away any of that. So we're going to begin with this first rattle. I do have two that I'm going to use in this session. This was a gift to me by the rattle maker on Etsy. This, we're 
going to focus on as it has the directions, it has the four corners. We're going to focus on the physical plane here. Um, any evil eye, any evil influence, any negative force, whether this is psychic, spiritual, emotional manipulation, and physical manipulation, someone trying to lay your path for you or tell you what to do or guide you in some way um, that usually is only permissible when we are unsure of our own path or more susceptible to follow the directions of someone else's path or what they want us to do but that's not always um, the best thing for us so I want to really focus here in the physical if there's anything, if there's any force manipulating your your path ahead, the steps you take each day, the direction your life is headed in, right? For their own gain, for their own reasoning. We're going to clear that now, okay? We're going to clear these tethers from your field. All right. Just an acknowledgement that I have five candles lit for that transformational um, energy. And I also want to address, we want to call in Mars, this warrior energy, this, yeah, go ahead and try it energy, because um, we're in Aries season, happy birthday Aries, this is not your Aries season video that is to come still, but I just want to acknowledge that we're in this time of doing what's right for us, living from us, right, so it's a great time for a session like this, I'm going to begin over your head, And just work down your body. And all this manipulation of your path, any tethers, and you're thinking, you know, what's best for you. Any force like that, we are clearing. lower limbs or just focusing on the meridians connected to the self but also connected to the environment how you feel supported the direction that you're going in how you connect with resources how you kind of surf the um the waves that are presented to you so we're going to focus in clearing this meridian and out if you'd like to focus on the physical body, we're going in through the sole of the left foot into the ankle, shin, knee, thigh, hip, pelvic region, right hip, thigh, knee, shin, ankle, and out the sole of the right foot, we would say. And again, in, clearing, and out. Okay, we're going to do that same thing, but now focusing on the upper meridians. This focus more on the self, how you care for yourself, how you trust yourself, how you support yourself. How are you flexible with yourself? So, if you want to focus on the body, typical form, in through the left palm, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, 
into the heart and right shoulder, upper arm, elbow, uh, forearm, wrist, and out the right palm, you could say. So in. associated with like an emotional connection we could say um, an emotional bridge some again tether here um, some feeling you want approval from someone for example or why do they treat you like this or why are they basically when we have an emotional reaction with someone the cord that we have with them becomes either forms or becomes more vital even if it's a negative um, emotional reaction with them um, it's hard to put into words exactly but that's really what forms these cords that we like to cut basically so if someone let's say says something to throw you off or to put you down and then you keep thinking about it you know and you're like what's, the, what's their problem or what's this that can you know that's triggering your emotions and that's what's going to have these um, sort of energy draining and these access points for these, whether intentionally or not, malicious people or thoughts or the way that they hold you, the energy they put into the dynamic that you have together. So that's what we're going to be clearing here. So we're going to snap and set a connect. Set an intention, forgive me, set an intention to locate the energetic cords, the emotional cords that you share with another person that are not healthy, that are toxic in a sense, or, you know, toxic, not healthy, not good for you, so that we can release them and also like begin to fortify this area of ourselves so that this isn't happening anymore but first we have to get rid of these cords okay so here are our shears we're setting an intention to connect in the sacral area but i'm going to focus so you can see we're focusing on the sacral though okay and this can be people you know very well this could be someone you barely met but you had some sort of connection with them Okay, so we're going to state our intention, connecting with these, only what is harmful, only what is no use to you, only what is dragging you down or holding you back or manipulating you in any negative way. And as we cut them, it all releases. It's not just that connection. It takes away all the power <laughs> of that negativity, of that attack, of that manipulation. It all begins to drain out, to atrophy, to clear.
gonna use this piece of Jupiter, Juniper, excuse me, Juniper, which is one of my favorite woods. I've actually been saving this for a special occasion. We're gonna use this flame, this fire, and the smoke to heal those that's to be made. Oh, snappy. Maybe that's a good sign, though. So we've cleared our meridians, cleared some aura. We will do more aura work. And we've cut the access point of any court. So now we want to protect this space. It's a protected space already with the setup that I have. But I want to really focus on preserving um, the integrity of this work that we have just done. Or these intentions. So this is a Douglas fir hydrosol. And it's very great for protection. So I'm going to just spray your back. These ancient spirits, you could say, benevolent spirits, righteousness of sorts. Just moving your energy, calling in confidence, calling in awareness of your personal strength, of your integrity, of your potential, of your mastery, of your journey, of your truth. And just really letting that flow through you to support healing.
whatever, you know, it can come from a response, from a communication and get in our head and we don't even realize like how big of an impact that makes on us from little things, seemingly little, such as, oh, you like that? Mm, and now you don't like it anymore, you know, or um, a judgment that like someone might have about you and they kind of put you down and now even if you don't want it to be like that's in your head, it's affecting how you navigate, it's affecting how you manifest. So we're going to work through that. consciousness, both all consciousness, evoking your will, I reject that, I don't buy that, I don't care, I still like it, this is me, like, sorry to be sassy, but a sassy energy is a very powerful energy, it is, sorry, it is, <laughs> so focusing on your heart, connecting you with your truth, your path, 
your fulfillment, your desires, your solar plexus area, your sense of self, how you identify, how you see yourself, how you act, how you behave, how you carry it out, how you reject, how you walk the walk, right? And harmonizing the other chakra points, but we really want to pay attention to these. Heart, solar, and <laughs> um, upper, as in throat and third eye, I guess, because we want to work with both components of consci consciousness. We're going to move through, and I'm channeling through, and I'm seeing spines, like the bones of spines. Also, another stacked image, I guess. Maybe that's what I saw before and I didn't recognize it. We're not laying down anymore, are we? We're erect. We're holding ourselves high. Holding your head high. Alright, I'm just gonna channel through. I've had this channel for a while now. <laughs> I'll have to look up what my 10 year anniversary is, but I feel like it'll come sooner than later. <laughs> and over the years, I get video comments describing, oh, can you help me? This person is attacking me. These people are attacking me. I just want them to stop. And I'm so sorry that people go through that, but I won't pity you. But, you know, I'm sorry that you're, anyone has to feel that way. But, your confidence, you, you carry so much power yourself and really you are what's going to get rid of anything like that. You can call in your angels, you can call in and work with deities, you can call in your ancestors, but ultimately it's you and your choice, you and your will to not be influenced in a manipulative or negative way by an outside force, whether that is a thought that someone thinks about you, something they say to you, or actual like magic -y type, spooky magic -y type work that they're doing on you, right? So, we're just gonna relax, kind of fall into yourself here, fall into your confidence, feel your own support, feel. strong you are, how many lifetimes of knowledge and strength you've acquired, how self-aware, and how connected, and that you are a child of divine forces. And nothing can mess with you if we don't let it. in the woods. Maybe that's a warrior. Maybe that's a weird sandworm rider. <laughs> Maybe that is the sun. Maybe that is Jupiter. Maybe that is, um, I don't know, uh, Ra, right? But whatever feels best to you. I'm just gonna place my hands over my head, over your head. <laughs> and channel through as you connect with your archetype your emperor, your empress, your magician, your high priestess your warrior, your knight, your king, your queen just channeling through, witnessing you fully empowered knowing, trusting 
feeling your own light, your own soul, your own path and purpose, desires, perspective. Remembering that you are a child of earth, your old body, <laughs> as in uh, old well, stardust planetary, ener planetary matter um, that has been around for, you know, I don't know, <laughs> for ages and ages and ages. Your soul, your developments, your lessons, your skills. witnessing your creations and your confidence and your trust in yourself and your will directed. Okay. I'm going to use this feather, which is also from the Rattle Maker. Wonderful person. And incredible craftsman. And we're gonna do some fanning. As I just gently speak to you, okay? We're fanning your flame. That light projected out and out and out, sizzling, burning away. Any doubt, any manipulation, any facade, any fog, any jealousy, any pity. Any ill wish, anything that is not true, and we're fanning competence, we're fanning will, we're fanning personal power, we're fanning the light. with you. <laughs> Nothing can have with you. You're human. You're empathic. You're sensitive. You're compassionate and kind and generous and thoughtful. And all of those things exist within you while still maintaining your personal sovereignty, your personal power, your ability to act, your ability to implement, your ability to change, your ability to write your own story, to serve as you wish, your success, your growth, Just, I won't say awakening, but supporting your own understanding of yourself, the richness of you, the importance of you, the deserving nature of you.
fan away. Any visible? And I mean that as a sense. I don't mean that exclusively visionary, but like any perception. You know, like for example, if someone pitied you and then others started to see you that way because of the haze that they had left, we're going to clear around you and remind you that this is a chance for a fresh start to let other people see who you really are. Not to mention to see so very much for allowing me to serve. Thank you for allowing me to be a friendly face along your path. It means the world to me. From the very bottom of my heart, I bow to the divine in you and I into this beautiful connection that we share. So very much love to you.